Kristen. Hi. Today we're going to be looking at the human microbiome. What's that? Well, it's the bacteria that live inside us and on us. So we can find out exactly what's living inside somebody by analysing their poo. Whose poo? <laughs> Your poo. Go on. Having my poo sent overseas to be analysed is pretty weird. But that's what happens when your mum's a microbiologist. We have trillions of microbes, mostly bacteria and their viruses, growing on us and inside of us. This is our microbiome. Most of these microbes are completely harmless. Some of them are really useful. They do things like help us break down our food to get all the good nutrients and stuff out of it. They also protect us from nasty microbes by fighting with them for space and food. Some of these microbes can make us sick if they get in the wrong place. Like if you don't wash your hands after going to the toilet and accidentally get bacteria from your poo into your mouth. Okay, no one wants that. So we decided to test how many bugs are on your hands after going to the toilet and the best way to wash them. Okay, so let's start with, we've got some Petri dishes here. Because okay. we're going to use these to um, put your fingers on. Press your fingers down on there. These Petri dishes will pick up the germs on my hand and help them grow big enough for us to see. So what do you think is the best way to wash your hands? Well, I think it would be best to wash it with warm water and soap. How about we do cold water on one hand and hot water on the other? And then maybe we'll try some soap after that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Get my hand dry. Okay. All right. Now I want you to put your hand on there. Again. All right. Let's get some hot water now. Don't make it too hot. Are you ready? Okay. So what we'll do now is put those in the incubator and then see what grows by tomorrow. So how about we have a look and see what was the best way to wash your hands? All righty. Show you. Here was the fingers before washing. See lots of colonies, lots of different sizes and lots of different shapes and things. And you can see them in the shape of the fingers, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then the best one that reduced the bacteria the most was washing them with soap and hot water. There you go. Okay, kids, this lesson has taught us to wash our hands with hot water and soap. While we were waiting for the results of my poo, we found out about a project studying what microbes live in people's belly buttons, and I just had to find out more. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm super. Why did you um, decide to start the belly button project? Well, we thought uh, that the belly button would be a uh, fun and silly place to do scientific research. We wanted to study the microbes, those tiny invisible organisms that live on our skin, and we wanted to get the public involved in doing that kind of study, and so we thought, where else on our bodies could we get people more excited and giggling but the belly button? I see your point there. <laughs> so is there much of a difference between people's belly buttons? There are and there aren't. Um, most of us have some um, organisms in common that live in our belly buttons, but exactly who lives there and how many of those organisms differ from person to person. So we did a research study and where we sampled over 500 people and we didn't find a single person who had the same kinds of microorganisms in their belly button, uh, which, is, which is pretty wild. So what were you hoping to find? Well, we were hoping, and this was the first study of its kind, looking at the microbes that live in belly button, looking at belly button bacteria. And so first we wanted to know who lived there, so what species did we find in belly buttons. And then we wanted to be able to explain uh, why they live there, or what determines what lives in my belly button compared to your belly button. Did you find any species you hadn't found before? Oh yes, we found lots that were like totally new to science that don't even have names. So we could just identify them by their DNA, which is pretty crazy. Thanks very much for telling us about the belly button projects that you did. You're very welcome. The results of my poo test have come back. So now it's time to find out what's been living inside me. So, what did you find in my poos? Well, that's a great, great question, Eve. So, Turns out you're human. We found all the typical bugs that we would expect to find in, in human poop. Did you find anything that could tell you what I ate before I, you know, did the poo? I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what you ate that day. What it hints at maybe is that um, you seem to be eating things that are, I guess, fairly typical for people in a Western country like New Zealand. If it was someone living in places in Africa, for example, where there's much more of a um, vegetable-based diet, 
they would have a, a different microbiome profile. So is there anything in here that's something to worry about? No, absolutely not. I think you can, you can rest easy or poop easy as it were. <laughs> so some of these bugs are good for you and important. And Absolutely, yeah. A lot of the time people think of, of bugs as being harmful, right? Causing disease and things, and of course some, some bugs do that. But you know, many and most of the, the bugs in our, in our guts, and we have a lot of them, um, are actually pretty good for us. So, there you have it. All the bugs that live in my stomach on one piece of paper. Keep up the good work, bugs. Oh.